All right, it's going so fast now. I think I have uh, different problems, actually. Um, one, uh, we have to recharge this guy or he'll still break. And it's only getting 85% damage absorbed, so he will still break even if I do recharge him. So I'm thinking maybe it's better just to make obsidian hose and shears and axes and just dump them in here. We can... Uh, use the same method we're using to get the uh, fertilizer in there. So I think that might be a better solution than the dark back. I mean, that this is this is great, but I don't think it's quite what we want. So, and we might just need hose actually. So, other thing is, um, he's trying to get stuck on how much he can push out to these guys. So maybe we need a better way of pulling things out of him. Maybe an item kind of will do better. It might. Let's uh let's grab that real quick and see what happens. So let's turn your IO to none and let's get some item conduits. And let's get some speed upgrades. We've got some. That's cool. So, I mean, I'll put this downstairs. This works. This, look, this looks weird now. Okay. Uh, I want to always extract. And I want to always insert. Okay. Yeah, that can keep up. So, we'll definitely want to put him underground now. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So that kind of means getting downstairs, though. So we need to do that. Okay. So for just a minute, let me have you and you. And let's break this guy, too. Okay. So I want to be able to get down here just for a minute and fix this stuff. Shovel still on me. That's good. Okay. So all we need to do is get some item conduits and put them in the right places. Okay. So... Wait a minute. Why are you over there? You'll be over there. Okay. So here is where the chest is going to be. And then we're going to have you, you, and you. And then you are not going to connect. And you don't need to be this guy, so you can go away. What are you? Yeah, you just need to be power. Okay. Not that it hurts those things, it just confuses me to see them. So, you need to be an insert. No, not there. And you need to be an extract always active. Yep, that works. Okay, let's put your dirt back. Let's go get a, a facade real quick, though, for uh, grass. Because I want to hide those things under him. I am not going to worry about that right now. Okay, you have no hoe right now. Well, that's because we haven't done anything with, with that. Mm, where is your hoe? So what you got in there. Don't know how that happened, but whatever. Okay. These guys went a little bit outside their range. I didn't think they would. I don't think they will normally, but I might surround these sections with gravel to make sure it won't happen again. Yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. Any, any gravel on me? Yeah, very little for some reason. Okay, I'm done, I swear. Uh, hmm, are we done? We're done right now. 
probably not done. We have to fix this problem too. So yeah, let me get uh, an obsidian hoe and see if he'll work with just that. So I think that will be the right solution to this problem. Yeah, you're from actually additions, yeah. Basically a hoe with so much durability you'll never use it up. Except an Andreo farmer. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So you're still okay, right? Yeah, you're fine. I mean, you use a lot of durability. So you'll wear out faster, but way easier to make you than to recharge this guy, I think. And then to repair him, too. So there's a lot of a lot of problems with this guy. So this is going to be a lot easier. Okay, let's go teach system how to make you and then keep one in stock and then we'll just export you whenever needed. So yeah, step one, make a pattern. Step two, add the pattern. Step three, always keep one on hand. All right, let's get a hoe. And let's see here. Okay. So now we will always have a hoe in stock. What to do now is go back to the farm and make sure that your guy exports those things. So I need to break you for just a second. Okay, you need to export. Oh wait, we can do. We don't need a the actual item. Okay. Well. I'll come back and see how that's working in a little while. I think it's going to be okay, but we'll see. Uh, it shouldn't be too long. I mean, he's gone through like 500 charges, you know, just 800 since we've been, you know, working over here. So he should need a replacement very soon. So we've got what, two hoes in the system right now? Yeah. So if I come back in five minutes, there's only one in, the, in there, uh, I can say this guy is working. So how are we doing on keeping up? Obviously, we're done with the cake right now, so you should be fine on that. Uh, we're doing pretty good on these guys. Carrots especially. We might uh, use the wheat to make more seeds again. That's another idea to get more seeds than we have over here. You know, that, that's that's always an option. What were we doing to do that before I realized it was going to overwhelm the system? Did I just keep some in stock or something? Or did I, like, did I pulverize something? Or What are you? You're sandstone. You're forgetting niter. Mm. I don't see anything. What about this guy? Is it this guy? It's this guy. If we had fewer than 64 seeds, we would go ahead and make seeds. That's not unreasonable. Although, let's bump him up to 512. Okay. Maybe even 1,000. Okay. If we had a thousand, we'd export wheat and use the wheat for that. So, oh yeah, we're not, we can't go up on you. That you're not an up. You're only a down. I'm sure we replace the elevators with just, with just uh, travel anchors, but we'll see. So, uh, let's see here. You got 400 right now. 400 to this guy. You're doing pretty well. I'm not sure how well we're gonna do, but. Let's go turn back on the duplicator. Make sure that guy works out. 
We've got a surplus of wheat now. Should be able to make plenty of cake to feed the cake of mirrors. Uh, nope, need to go down one more. Okay, so you need to be an insert. There we go. So, wrong way. So now, you should be going over there, making more cake, dumping more stuff. You guys go pick stuff up. All right, how are we doing on all this glowstone and whatnot? 600. Okay, 1.2 thousand and quartz. Yeah, I mean, we're getting there, definitely. So, I mean, you know, obviously, we should flip this guy back on, right? And see if we're fast enough now. I'm betting that we're still not, because this guy uses so many seeds. I mean, I mean look at what he's doing over here. He goes through nearly a stack of seeds in about three seconds. So, I don't think that there's any hope of me keeping up with that guy. But we'll see. With the excess, maybe we will. How are we doing on carrots? I think we've gone through at least 500, not 1,000 carrots. So, yeah, I'm thinking this isn't going to work. I'm thinking that nothing can feed this guy. He's just so, so ridiculously, you know, needy. But uh, I'm going to run it again, you know, for, you know, 20 minutes or so. And get the rest of this course going and everything else. And we'll just take care of it. And hopefully... We'll have enough things to not worry about this. I wonder how close we are on needing a new hoe. I think we ought to be at least somewhat close. Hey, I don't mean to be taking these guys, but you know, you're not doing your job fast enough. Give them one impossible task and they just fall apart. How you doing? 5,000. Okay, he needs a bit more time to go crazy, but where are we over here? So what kind of slates do we have right now? We're up to demonic slates, making 256 of those, so you know, I mean, I think it's working. Works a bit slower, you know, for over here, but it's still pretty good. And hey, it's all in the background, so I mean, I'm doing other things while I'm while I'm waiting on that. So, what does it matter, really? Okay, so yeah, I would say that's all looking pretty good right now. I'll come back in a few minutes and tell you that it failed again, keeping up with the seeds and the carrots, because I'm I'm just sure it's going to. It, it runs through so many of those, but maybe I'll be I'll be surprised. Who knows? And uh, I mean, I don't think. I don't know how else I'd speed this up. Lamp of growth? I mean, I could add that too, but, you know, at some point, you know, can the machine catch up? I mean, I, I can see wheat growing that he's not, he's not collecting. I guess he could do better, but how much better, really? I don't know. All right. We're still having trouble keeping up with cake production. So um, we have enough supplies. We have plenty of milk. We've got plenty of wheat, plenty of eggs, and you know everything else. But we're just not able to fill the milk buckets fast enough. So I'm looking for a better way to do that. So the first thing I want to try out is seeing if we can just dedicate a fluid transposer just for milk buckets. So let's start by trying that out. So, where are we? A transposer? Yep, let's get one of those guys. Let's go downstairs and let's see if we can do better by dedicating one of these guys to him. So, let's get... Break the floor over here. Okay, so let's put the machine down. We'll make you a resident machine. 
will make you as fast as possible. And let's turn off your configuration. And then we're going to put you on a high signal. So we're going to export both milk and buckets into you. So, and then we will simply fill them and we will keep getting, you know, milk buckets until we have, I don't know, 16 of them or so. So let's see if that works out. So first of all, let's, let's cancel these guys. And let's get this guy over here. I need an item conduit. No, I need an item filter and a fluid filter. There's an item filter. Need a fluid filter. Okay. So uh, we are going to export milk into this guy. Let's set up your input. You're going to be an input on the back and you're going to be an input extract on the bottom. So let's go ahead and break this guy too. And I want you to insert buckets. So there we go. We'll put a bucket in you. All right, there we go. I don't know. We need to keep a certain number of stock or something, or I don't know. I, maybe we'll have so many buckets. We'll see how this works. Um, okay. So uh, we need a detector as well. So if we have fewer than nine milk buckets in the system, uh, I want to have you run. So. Okay. If there are fewer than nine, you keep going. And you need to extract always active. I'm hoping that's going to make it a lot easier to get milk. And if it does, then we'll have a solution. That looks wrong, doesn't it? I think you're that guy. Okay. So uh, that should always give us more milk to work with. You're not my elevator. Well, you're not that elevator. You're not the one I want. Okay, so let's see how well it does keeping up with cake now. So it is making cake. Look, he might have nine cakes in the system, actually. Oh, no, he doesn't. Are you making cake? Missing buckets. Available eight. All right, let's um, let's keep a certain number of buckets in the system. Let's keep like I don't know, sixteen. And yeah, let's uh, replace that guy. Okay, we'll make a bunch of buckets, and then I want you to have 64 of these guys system at all times. Maybe you can't put that many in there. Let's have, let's say 16. At some point, you kind of stop for a second, a second don't you? Can we do, let's see here, 9 times 3 is going to be 27. If we always kept 27 in you, should be okay, right? 
All right, let's see if that works out. So, are you making cake? No. Do you have cake? No. Why aren't you making more cake? You've got lots of milk. You have plenty of cake in here. Oh, you know what? We don't have um, an, an actual interface on this guy. So he's dumping all the cake in here, but he has, we have no way to get the cake out of here from the system. Okay, that's fine. As long as you have plenty of cake, I'm okay with that. Maybe I was already fine, and I didn't realize it. Yeah, if you're not making cake, then I guess you're okay. But I know a little while ago, he did not have enough cake in him to keep going. So now I'm thinking he does. So let me go turn the glowstone guy back on because we don't have quite enough glowstone yet. I mean, eventually we're going to catch up and we'll never know if the system works or not because <laughs> we won't need that much mana. But, um, you know, if we can get it mostly working, hopefully it'll keep working, you know, over the long term. Okay. Just keep 90 in the system at all times, all right? Maybe even just those three. Yeah, we'll keep three of you at all times. And that should be plenty for that guy. So, a few extra buckets might have been made, but, you know, what does it matter? Okay. You are going to insert the glowstone again. So, will that work? These guys are doing what they're supposed to be doing, so, yeah. Everything else is good but the glowstone, so, yeah, we're doing pretty well on all this stuff. Cake's going well now. We were at uh, not quite 2,000 wheat, and we have more than 2,000 wheat now. Hmm. This guy is still on. Hey. We might actually be keeping up now. Yeah. Carrots are maxed, I think. All right, that's a good wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. And here's a sneak preview of what the finished Batania area will look like. See you next time.